Welcome to Season 11 of Lazy Gecko Sailing. We just got back from an epic trip to the Bahamas. We've been pushing Calypso a bit, and she's in need of some pretty big repairs. We've stopped in Fort Lauderdale to get some work done before continuing our way north, just in time for the big summer storms. It feels so good to be back in a marina and um, not having to worry about weather, passages, anything like that. But the only thing is we are not in our home port marina. We are in a different marina, more in like South Florida because we need a lot of boat work. A lot of shit went wrong. Our radar went out, our bilge pump went out. Our props need to be serviced. They're not feathering, so every time we go in reverse, the engines just drop. Our throttle systems are not calibrated. It's been a disaster a little bit, but I'm always smiling, always keeping a positive. I'm, I'm the positive one here, always. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just been crazy. These last couple days, um, these last two days of being in this marina, I've been scheduling stuff like crazy. So we've had workers to the boat all day long today and they'll be here all day long tomorrow. So we pulled into Fort Lauderdale. We are at Pier 66 right now, right across from BMR. It's actually super cheap because they're getting uh, a lot of work done over here. It's completely shut down, no restaurant, no nothing, but very cheap. That's okay with us because we are getting some boat work knocked out. So first things first, the thrusters, Yacht Commander, uh, they came out, troubleshooted everything. It was actually the same guy that came out right before we went on our first Bahamas crossing and changed the throttle box out. The engine wasn't really kicking into gear. Go figure. Something's wrong in here. Yeah, Yacht Controller. I'm looking to see if I can find somebody that uh, can help me out with servicing my broke. The entire unit had to be replaced. Four or $5,000. He was the one that came back, super nice guy, troubleshooted it. Trouble shot. Trouble shot. I got this guy back here correcting me. Uh, he did that. The brownies guys came out. They serviced the dive compressor. Uh, one of the belts were shot and there was some cracking going on, so we got that taken care of. We also had some D guys. D guys. Decal. D, D guys. Okay, the camera's double, getting heavy. <laughs> double the seat, double the flavor. We also have the decal guys come out. They're working on a decal for us, and then we'll be getting the old one removed, new ones put on, and then Jeremiah is now working on the bilge pumps. Hooray! We had um, some friends of ours that we just met, now they're friends, take him over to West Marine, and he was able to get a new bilge pump. And apparently it works. Exciting! So he's down there testing it out. Things are just moving right along rather quickly, which is nice. After these decals, we can pull off the dock um, and start heading more north. So we'll see how it goes. I found the Rulemate 1500 at West Marine. It looks the same, but it's a little bit different. It's built different, you can tell. So I went ahead and put it in. I tested it best I could. There's a little test put on this one too, and it tested okay. So I went ahead and installed it. And now I'm going to fill the bilge up and we'll see if it automatically kicks on. That's been our problem. We've had no like automatic bilge pump. Do you have a plan if it doesn't go? No, it'll be plan C. Yeah, it should be going by now. What the fuck? So it'll take a couple of these, but. Oh, sorry, that's my little high water alarm. Jeez, I was like, okay, it's not working. So you put this thing in auto, right? Yes. All right, cool. So if this goes off, then we fix the issue. It's going off. Is it really already? Oh, oh that's what's Success. up. That's what's up. Mm. Now I just need to wrap these wires up, heat shrink them, and then wrap them up, and then we'll be good. Work, baby, work. Uh-oh, what? It's going. It's not stopping. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh my God. we were like, gosh darn it. Yeah, let's try that again. Pretty cool. Yeah, man. It was awesome. Knowing the bilge pump will kick in automatically makes leaving the boat way less stressful. There we go. Yeah, that's okay. Yay! It runs until, you know. Oh, you feel a little better? A little lot better. I know you are worried about that one. Well, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah. Cool. Good job, babe. 
As you know, I did bikini shopping in the Bahamas, and if you didn't know, I did bikini shopping in the Bahamas. There is one store there that I absolutely love. She has high-end quality bikinis. Um, last time I was there, I got a bunch as well. But I never got to show you. And then I've had some patrons be like, oh, we haven't seen the bikinis. And I'm like, oh, you're right. Well, when I was there, I only had so much data. It was hard to get my hands on data because you actually have to go to a box, load money, and then it goes on your phone. It's weird. But now that I have data, I'm gonna show you my bikinis. I love them and um, there's a lot of hotness that lies within this little bit of material. Fell in love with this one and then when I realized it had a cover up to match, I was sold. That's her little logo. But great material, and I don't know if you can see or not, there's like these sparkles. This one's all about that back. The back of the top is what I'm talking about. How it crosses and the jewels and oh my goodness. So this one was all about the print of the bikini. That's what kind of sold me. And then the cut on the back, on the butt, it was fire. This one's also a favorite, simply because of the print. Right now I'm going to either grow some hamburgers or cook some chicken, it depends on the rain. And then we got invited over to a boat for some drinks. I'll be doing that as well, so have a fabulous weekend. Are you excited? I am. Are you excited? Oh, I couldn't be more excited. New mattress. Oh my gosh. What? How is it? Oh, it's nice. Is it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's so nice. It's so is much it? better than the pad. Yeah, we had this really crappy pad for never since we bought the boat. And we were in Fort Lauderdale and they have a custom mattress place for boats. And so nice. We picked the ultimate mattress. We what do we get? Oh no, but I do feel the hump. Sweet. That you wanted over here. No, I needed to be there. Let's show how it lifts up. We have an access panel under here, and it's always been an issue to get into. So they put the little hinge right here, right there, and now we can just push this up and then get right into the access panel, which is here. Which the other one we really couldn't because it was in the wrong spot. Yeah. Can you help? Love it. No, not at all. Okay. So you're just gonna hang out in here then? Well, yeah, because my back is hurting from last night sleeping on the bed. So I'm like, maybe it'll just work. I feel it like decompressing. Nice. But I do feel... Well, I think after you put the pad on, there's a pad that goes on it and then sheets and all that. You won't feel that hinge. And you're over there. That's where you sleep. Good. It feels like it. it's so... Nice. <laughs> oh yeah, you should lay on it. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. A mattress. It's, it's very springy. I know. It's very nice. Very nice, honey. Wait, lay on my side. I want to see if you can feel the hump. I'm going to tell you no, no matter what. Why? I'm just kidding. Well, I'm pretty lumpy right now myself, so I don't know what you're talking about. I do not feel a hump. What are you talking about? Oh, you mean like it gets a little more firm? Yeah. You won't feel that when you get your pad on there and stuff. Actually, it's nice because you could be like, I need to stretch my back out. Come over here and have like a little, like a lumbar support. And I'm like, no, I don't want that anymore. I don't think I'm going to put the pad on it. Oh, okay. I'm going to put it in the RV. Congratulations, you got that. We just got the decal uh, removed and buffed. It looks great. Our old decals started to come off, so it was time to get some new ones made. This took a little more work than you might think. Oh, there he, goes, walking away. he watches the videos, maybe he'll see himself walking away. Have a good day! Thank you guys. He, he, he removed it on both sides. He yeah. dropped our dinghy in the water. Worked on both sides on our actually, dinghy. Actually, I dropped. Oh, our dinghy. That's cool. Well, we dropped. If you want to get real technical. Yeah, that's right. We dropped the dinghy in the water. Uh, used our dinghy, but he also has a pad that he can bring out here. But it's far walk. So dropped our dinghy down. Did each side of the hall. The other day he came and it was just pouring rain and he was still working. I was blown away. Most people will be like, "No, I'm not coming." 
even if there's a spot of rain happening that day for 20 minutes, most people don't come. So he was able to buff it out, get it all out. That yellow right there is the gold flake from our decal, but the new decal should go right over that. And from what I understand, as the sun hits it, it'll start to turn it back to the hall color, but yeah. I'm well, excited. I, I can't, no, I don't notice any like other no. issues with it. Like it's just that no gold. No shadowing. Yeah, there's no shadowing at all. And that's part, to, partly I, I think to do with um, the fact that our decals are printed on clear. Yep. I'm gonna go lay on the mattress. Okay, go have fun. Now we're gonna have the decal people come and put the new decal on. It felt bad, man. It was thunderstorming and he was out there and he was such a cool guy. And um, he actually told me that the price that the decal people are giving us is really good. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There she is. Cool, cool. They got the other one up there and um, they're gonna put the port one on and then this is gonna be the starboard. Let's see. I don't like to micromanage people. Some of my former Marines might say it differently, but let's see, they're out there. What the heck, it looks exactly the same. <laughs> you know, that's what I was, I was thinking that like a half an hour ago. I was like, oh man, I'm so excited. I'm gonna make my bed, but it won't feel like anything new. No, well, visually. Visually, it won't feel like anything new. Physically, it will. How's it feel, lay on it. I hope I wake up tomorrow and my back is like, oh, but it might hurt even more because we gotta get used to it. Feels a little higher. Does it really? Hmm. Maybe not, I don't know. But it feels, it feels Just the like... same. <laughs> <laughs> Great, I'll no so glad we did this. <laughs> yeah. I'll notice tomorrow, I'll know more when I wake up tomorrow morning. Ask me when I wake up. All right, well, congratulations. Right now decals are going on, which is sick. Ooh. I'm just happy that it will say Calypso, not Calypsi anymore. Yeah, did we get a picture of Calypsi? Yeah, I'm I sure I have to, plenty of them. Yeah. I have drone shots of it, yeah. For a patron post, I was gonna show the progress. Yeah. Well, we'll see how it goes. We're hoping it doesn't rain. It's been kind of threatening. Can't really do this without with the rain, so. They had to copy the old artwork, so we weren't able to give them a file. They just had to get it as close yeah. as they could to the old artwork, because the previous owner before John um, didn't have that vector file to give us just pictures. And they did a really, really good job. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes on. I'm excited. She'll have her nails painted. She deserves it. We ended up having the entire thing redesigned. It's very similar, but there are a few differences from the original artwork. A cool fact is that the gold leaf we're using for the design actually has real gold in it. It gets placed in when applying the decal. This was the last item on our to-do list before we left the dock and began hopping up the ICW. today we got up at 5 and got off anchor probably around 5 30 5 45 we have 14 hours 14 hours of icw to make it back to our home port or the port where we're going to keep the boat for hurricane season or the remainder of hurricane season tropical storms are forming everywhere like hurricane so hurricanes will start forming relatively soon um we contact our insurance and we're like hey we're in Florida, but a different part of Florida. Um, can, are we good to continue on just sailing around, do whatever? And they said, no, we need an extra $2,000. I'm like, oh my gosh. So if a storm's, a named storm's coming, we need to give them another $2,000. And we already give them thousands. So it's a little annoying. We're just gonna bring the boot back to where it's supposed to be for hurricane season and shop for new insurance and then we'll be able to move again. Uh, but I think we'll be able to make it 14 hours down the ICW. We'll probably get there right around 8.30 and we're not worried about it. We can pull in in the dark. Um, What'd you think of that? About what? Pulling up anchor in the dark. It's good, you did a good job. It's very muddy. Yeah, we're back in Florida, baby. ICW is full of mud. Your radar stopped working, but it's working now? Yeah, it only stopped working when I need it. So, you know, we got that going for it. And you can't troubleshoot it because as soon as you go to troubleshoot it, it starts working again. Yeah. So you think we'll make it the 14 hours? I'm trying, man. We have five, uh, like, draw bridges to go through. Um, two of which are on, like, hour and half hour schedule, I think, which could really slow you down. 
Uh, but I think the rest of them are open on demand, which is great. So as long as we can get through this two, and we don't have any hiccups, and you know, we keep on going, I think that we should get there tonight. I'm okay with doing the last little part in the dark because uh, it's kind of a remote part that we go through, so uh, you know, that'd be okay, but you know, but I got some sweet pictures this morning. Oh good, and you got pictures of that lightning storm last night. Yeah, that was great. We actually stopped early due to the storm rolling in just north of our location. We dropped the hook and watched it unfold. Summer storms in Florida are no joke. Both flying back. You see my radar right here. Well, we're making seven knots, and that's yep. better than what we planned for. Seven knots is what we need. All right, well, I got your coffee coming. Oh, man, it's awesome. Thank you. The seas were flat, the weather was calm, and we enjoyed a lovely motor up the ICW. There's a drawbridge along this part of the ICW that's always an issue for us, and this afternoon was no different. <laughs> like I'm gonna cry. Next time on the Lazy Geckos, we get hit with a massive squall and have a close call with hundreds of boats. I'm just talking like a crazy maniac. Wrong place, wrong time. It wasn't fun at all. So amazing right now. Then we're switching it up and headed to the RV for the weekend. If we didn't travel full time, I would consider making that my spot. I got the two most important items. This is gonna be a good one. The only reason she has that thing on right now is because it's going on YouTube. She loves it. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.